Where does everyone's relationship with Ferris stand today? I mean, are you open to working with her again in the future? I'm what? neutral if she doesn't try to sell feces over online. That was the little much yeah. for me. Teen Mom has always been a family, so we decided to get everyone together for the first time ever. Family reunion. This is a show like we've never seen before. There's fighting, there's tears, and it seems like that is just the tip of the iceberg. Who do you think is bringing the most drama this season? Cheyenne, let's start with you. Everybody has their moment. Okay. Some moments are a little bit bigger, Jade. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cheyenne. <laughs> Cheyenne, right? Like, <laughs> and it's all, I think we had so much fun, I don't know. Jade, what is your response to that and who do you think brought the most drama this season? I feel like, you know when you try to handle something and then it kind of just gets out of hand and then it, <laughs> it just explodes and so I, I didn't expect that from, from me, honestly. I was kind of a little surprised. There you go. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> other things have okay the whole show is literally a, it's crazy the whole show is like up and down like a roller coaster it's super right. crazy. but i think there was the one moment that i think i was really surprised and i'm like sipping my drink and i don't even know what to say and me and my best friend are looking at each other like what in the f cheyenne flipped over a table <laughs> he oh beast the moon you guys are an adult let's talk some bitch no. let's do it oh my god what is gonna happen? Thank God she flipped over a tape because I look crazy as fuck the first day. <laughs> okay, so Cheyenne says Jade, Jade says Cheyenne. Amber, <laughs> what was the most dramatic moment that you were maybe most surprised by? Who brought it? Okay, this is gonna sound weird to you, okay? But probably me. There was a night that I felt like the girls may have been a little Somebody was being a little rude to them and me, so I kind of went mommy like mode. mommy mode for all my, I felt like, ah, no, boy, you better quit. So I kind, <laughs> of, <laughs> kind of went after like some, I was kind of like saying to somebody, step back, you don't like, you don't do this. But honestly, every single person on this show had a moment, okay? And it, some of them, if it was physical drama or tears, it doesn't matter because it actually, it, it was both. It just, it was a lot of drama. Good so entertaining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was entertaining, but it was very therapeutic. This franchise is beautiful. Like we're, we're sisters and we didn't even know it. Like, honestly. No, I know despite the, the highs and the lows, I can definitely tell that there is a sisterhood amongst you ladies. And it is very touching to watch. Mm -hmm. Leah, I want to get to you. Was there a moment this season that you were just like jaws on the floor? I can't believe this is happening. There were a few moments. <laughs> Tease Every up. single moment that you guys are talking about, I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? <laughs> I'm scared. What do I, where do I go? <laughs> I, I mean, I think we each individually have a little bit of drama in there. Rather it's a, a personal growth that we're going through, something that we're working on ourselves there, or just maybe some animosity built up in other relationships with other cast members, I think. But I think working through it, you get to see that. And I think it's beautiful to see each and every single one of us grow. And Macy, mm -hmm. how, how did you feel about this season? There was a an exercise that Cheyenne and Amber and I did that was like groundbreaking. Yeah. I mean, it, it that's one of the most intense things that I've ever, ever been a part of or experienced or participated in, in my life. Like game changing. That was, that to me was the, I guess the, the, the thing that tested me the most. It was very powerful. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I feel like you ladies have sort of hinted, but we haven't quite dropped the F word in this interview yet. And I'm talking about Farah. <laughs> Hi. Uh-oh. Who the f invited Farah? The fans are so eager to tune in to really see what the dynamic is going to be like watching Farah with you ladies reunited again. I would love to know what it was like to be back together and was it as explosive as it looks in the super trailer? Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, I think, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, in this group that we have really big personalities and we're not uh, one to keep uh, certain things to ourselves because 
this is a very honest franchise in reality world, to be honest with you. When she came in, it was just kind of like, she came next to me and I'm just kind of like, why? Um, and then, you know, we, I really had to, you know, kind of think, you know, mm, everybody had the, their right to be there and Farrah had the right to be there because she was a part of the original OGs, no matter what. And um, I mean, no matter what happened that night, even though you guys are gonna love watching it probably, um, I saw a side of, you know, Cheyenne that I hadn't seen before, but she also was very composed. Um, you know, I think you guys will be really, really like surprised, you know, with how we did, we kind of dealt with a lot of the drama that they threw at us. She so, wasn't the only sh shocking uh, addition or, no. um, or a lot of things arrived. Yeah. Yes. And we were never expecting them when they did. So. Exactly. <laughs> where does where does everyone's relationship with Ferris stand today? I mean, are you open to working with her again in the future if there was a potential, you know, return for her to the Teen Mom franchise? I'm what? neutral if she doesn't try to sell feces over online. That was a little much yeah. for me. For me. But, right. <laughs> yeah. but yeah. Own, I guess. Yeah. You're saying if she stops selling her poop, her poop, then we're okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, to be honest with you. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm not one to judge anybody because, like, who am I to judge? But that's on a level. So I'm, I'm just your saying. <laughs> Drama. Me. I have no idea what they're talking about. I don't know how much you read online, but it seems like a lot of fans think that Teen Mom Family Reunion may mean that it's the end of the Teen Mom franchise. Are you committed to staying with the Teen Mom franchise? Or, or you can be honest, you know, have you thought about, you know, maybe this could be the end for me and I'm ready to walk away? I'm in this for life. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it's definitely not the end. You know, I feel like this Teen Mom family reunion is just a new beginning for our That's franchise. <laughs> and this is not going to be the last time that we all get together. We okay. plan on doing this again and just doing it bigger. And hopefully now some people who didn't really take the invitation will come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Agreed. exactly. Leah, how do you feel? I feel the same way Cheyenne feels. I think that this is only the beginning, starting this Team Mom Family reunion. I think, I, yeah, the show's been great to me, my family, and I'm forever grateful. I'm ready for life. What should Macy? I say? Uh, don't get me wrong. I like think about not doing it every season, but, <laughs> <laughs> but mainly just for the kids. Like Bentley's getting older and stuff, you know. But at this point, I, I'm like, son, everybody thinks you're you're like America's nephew. Like, yeah, you're kind of already screwed. I'm sorry about that. I'm in it for life too. Okay, Amber. I don't think this is going to be the end. It's the, it's, it feels like it, we just began a whole new part of the franchise and we're building from, you know, the middle to up and we're, we're gonna keep on going. It's not gonna stop. I'm gonna be like 50 doing this shit, to be honest with you. <laughs> Use our language. All right, Jade, don't let us down. Everybody else is still committed. Are you still in it? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. I think this last season of Teen Mom 2 that we filmed was the best season I, I've ever filmed. I don't want to spoil too much, but really watching me and Sean's like journey together and separate is, it's going to be different. Like this season for us is completely different than any other season of Teen Mom that we've ever done. And then going into, you know, this Teen Mom family reunion, which is something so new. I feel like this whole last year, everything has just evolved for like, our lives and I'm excited to continue to be a part of it and continue to, you know, advocate and share our story about, you know, um, sobriety and, you know, entrepreneurship and just being a younger mom. And there's so much that me and Sean share with our story that I really, really hope touches people and impacts people um, around the world.